Back here at home, a local girls softball team is just two weeks away from their season starting and all of their equipment has vanished. It's unclear tonight if it was mistakenly removed or if it was stolen. David Highfield is live in Swissvale with the latest. David. Yeah, Ken and Julie, we are live in front of Dixon Elementary, and they have these big dumpsters here in front of this old school, and that's because the plan is to renovate this school. But first, they need to clear everything out. So they asked the public to come in and help do that, and that's how the coach believes the equipment was taken. And that's what it looked like. Coach John Wilson admits he got emotional after he found the equipment shed for the Swissvale Orioles girls softball team pretty much empty. I manned up, but I teared up, and then I almost lost my composure. Then I remember where my position, what my position was, but I just, at the end of the day, it hurt for real. The Swissvale Orioles have won seven championships in recent years, but that didn't prevent something unfortunate from happening. The team's equipment shed sits next to the field by Dixon Elementary, and the coach says the shed was locked. But the school is being renovated, and the Woodland Hills School District allowed the public inside to clear things out, taking desks, chairs, and other items for free. Trouble is, Wilson says they also helped themselves to the team's equipment, and he believes people knew what they were doing. I don't see how they didn't know it wasn't off limits being that our girls softball is a big thing in our community. These photos show how Wilson found things. A few items scattered in the grounds outside the shed, but helmets, bats, pads, rubber bases, and a hitting net all missing. I would hope they bring back every piece of equipment that they took out of here with a very nice apology. Well, he says this team has started with nothing and they've come too far and worked too hard to let this stop them. He has reported this incident to the police. He has also started a GoFundMe page, hoping that donations will help them buy new equipment. We have a link for you to that GoFundMe page at KDK.com. And we contacted several leaders in the Woodland Hills School District tonight, but so far have not gotten a response. We're live tonight in a snowy Swissvale. David Highfield, KDK TV News.